Owen, my name's Justin Floyd. I'm your guide to Nashville real estate and a generally good time. Today, we're looking at three news stories from this week in Nashville, and we're starting with a tiny island in downtown Nashville. It's a triangle. It's full of sand, and there's currently people getting drunk next to traffic, <laughs> and it's for sale. It is the tiny chill beach. Let's check it out. Excuse me, the Little Chill Beach. It's 400 Lafayette Street. You can see it's downtown. It is a triangle. It's for sale for two and a quarter million dollars. And actually, I think it, it's 6,500 square feet. The price for a square foot is actually not off. The backstory of this, a, a local guy bought this tiny, oddly shaped lot for 55 thousand dollars in about 2007 it's the little chill beach you can rent it for a thousand dollars i've seen uh, record labels use it during cma fest to promote albums um <clears throat> he had it under contract apparently uh right before 2020 and they were going to build a like a a 12-story hotel and it fell through so it's back on the market there is a there is a little chill beach. So most developers don't like that it's a triangle. Whatever they put there, it's going to have to be, he says, a spire or a needle, 12 to 14 stories, 360 degree views for a long, long way. So it'd be very cool. Uh, maybe not the most practical uh, building. All right, next. I'm sure you've seen the news or maybe you haven't. Uh, rates, they're moving up again. This did not really affect... The Fed's rate jump did not really affect current mortgage rates. Those were baked in. They knew the jump was coming. Inman.com, this is a real estate news website. So they they touch on jumping to the highest rate since 2001. We're going to see if they do another rate jump later this summer. Lots of guesses as to what's going to happen next year. Listen, we know from experience that no one knows what rates are going to do. Look at this article from 11 months ago. Fannie Mae forecasts 30-year mortgage rates 4.5% in 2023. Well, we know that Fannie Mae was way off on that one. I'm not, I mean, guessing rates is, you're going to be wrong way more often than you're right. Uh, he said a few interesting things specifically about housing. Uh, he being Jerome Powell from the Fed. There's something peculiar that he said uh, he understands that the market he thinks may have bottomed out. And he says supply of existing homes is really, really tight, which is keeping prices up. Yes. But then he said, on the other hand, there's, you know, there's a lot of supply coming online now and there's people coming in. A lot of buyers are first time buyers coming in buying. Um, the, people are kind of befuddled. What do you mean? There's a lot of supply coming online now. We don't see that in the numbers. And also first time buyers are, are really being, it's, it's hard for them right now. They're being, they're, it's hard to buy your first house with interest rates like they are. So that kind of, that confused people when he said that. And hopefully he gets asked some more questions about that next time around. Our third news story, the Nashville Business Journal shared some good news. Nashville rents are actually down this year. Great news. Here's the article. Nashville rent growth falls by 15 percentage points. A few interesting takeaways from this article outside of just that rents are a little bit down. Nashville has been uh, building a lot of apartment units, which has helped. It's, it's definitely helped. And it says in 2022, Nashville area grew by 35,624 people or 98 people per day. You hear this Nashville loves to talk about this per day increase. They love it when it's a hundred or more. And I hear all sorts of numbers. I have reason to believe that the chamber is, is accurate on this 98 people per day. It grew by in 2022 demand for rentals is high right now. So it's good that we've had a lot more units come on uh, with, with mortgage rates, the way they are. A lot of people are opting to rent for, for another year instead of buying. That was a super quick update this week. Thanks for watching. I'll be back next week. Hey, hit subscribe so that I can grow this channel. My goal is to get to 250 subscribers.
by the end of the year. So I'd love it if you click that. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Check me out online, justinfloydhomes.com or on Instagram at justinfloydhomes. Thanks guys.